this is where it gets a little bit confusing for people, I'm sure, because you can go online and you can see people who say that they are healthy and they look healthy and, and they eat vegan, but then you hear people say the opposite. So like, how can we do see healthy vegans? My take on that, first of all, they are the minority, right? I mean, the dropout rate for vegan diets is like what, 84% of people who go on a vegan diet end up dropping out. Um, mainly or a large, large part driving that high dropout rate is because um, their, uh, their health starts to deteriorate. All those symptoms, you know, start to happen. Of the small, small, small minority of apparently healthy vegans, um, I'm thinking of someone, I'm not going to mention the name. There are certain drugs that you can take to develop a well-built physique um, that might drive that kind of override the drop in um, energy and you know the the brain fog that happens all those things also there is heavy supplementation involved um and i do have that the, the 13 nutrient deficiencies you you know you'd start to develop on a vegan diet so i think people it's, it's really interesting it's really quick too i have a short version a long version where you go over all of all of the 13 basic ones and those are only the ones that we've discovered so far because remember nutrition is a very recent science it the first vitamin was only discovered in 1926 <laughs> that's how recent nutrition is and we also have to i guess define what healthy is because you have very well known vegan doctors who are healthy as in they don't have type two diabetes or they're not on a medication, right? But if you look at them, there, there's no muscle tone. There is no real like fitness, you know? And I understand why that is because it's very difficult to, if you're not taking steroids or things like that, you have to be so diligent with your protein intake um, in order to build that kind of physique. And so so then what is health? Is, the, is health just the complete absence of a diagnosed term like chronic condition um, or is it optimizing for fitness and having like that you know fit body and no visceral fat because it's a spectrum right and I see this especially with what we've been going through we're not going to go in there don't worry <laughs> but especially with what we're going through um, you know they're referring to people you know a healthy adult and then you go and you look at the picture like what <laughs> a healthy adult just because somebody doesn't have a, a full-blown diagnosed condition doesn't mean they're an optimal health right and they're like you know fit you know maybe they might not be even be able to go up a flight of stairs they get winded but yet we call them you know they're healthy because you know they're not hooked up to an insulin pump or something like that so it's there are a lot of nuance there it's it, it is a spectrum